Uh, let's talk to the drunk, see what he has to say. He does not look like... This is the most educated, well-put-together drunk I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding me? Is this what drunks look like in Japan? God, no wonder they're so efficient. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and join me today as we check out a Squaresoft classic. Today, of course, we're checking out Front Mission 3, which is actually the fifth game in the Front Mission series, but <laughs> who's counting? Um, this is the first Front Mission game to get an English translation. So there was a whole series of these games, uh, you know, before the, the English-speaking world got, got a hold of it. It was a Japanese game, of course. Um, do I have sound? Is there something? Oh, no, there just is no music. It's just a very somber, quiet opening. Not even, like, no sound effects till you get to the, the main menu here. Now, before we hop in, this is a tactical combat RPG about mechas, which are awesome. Of course, in this game, they call them Wanzers, which does not sound nearly as awesome. Sounds kind of stupid, actually, but we're going to try and get over that because of my love of tactical mecha-based RPGs. Um... There are lots of customization options here, so I'm really looking forward to kind of getting in and playing with the mechas, tinkering with the parts before we go into combat, you know, because everyone knows Jay likes to tinker, and when you're tinkering with robots, you're speaking my language. Oh, there's the sound. Here's the intro I was waiting for. Weird it didn't go into this from the get-go. We have a, sh uh, a flying jet that was bombing mechs right there. We have spaceships, and, like, this is, like, the most action-packed intro ever. It, like, even included NASA. It's like, not only do we have, like, rocket ships and mechs and boats, we got, like, freaking spaceships, man. Look at this. Look at these awesome polygon graphics. Interestingly, this game was actually criticized for its graphics when it was released, saying that the graphics weren't all that good compared to other games of the time. It's interesting because, like, these days, you go back and, you know, it's like an old game and it has kind of old-looking graphics, and it's like, yeah, that looks okay, I guess. But at the time, it was slightly beyond, behind where it should have been. But in retrospect, that doesn't really seem to matter. Um, we got lots of action going on here. I am psyched to see myself in control of these mechas. Oh, these wanzers, I guess should, I should say. Of course, we know as soon as I get behind the steering wheel, I'm going to be far less effective than this opening uh, movie. But we're getting a hint of what is to come. If my gameplay sucks, then at least we got to watch this awesome intro. We just got mechs wailing on each other. That guy shot the other guy point-blank range in the face with like, what appeared to be a cannon arm. Which, I, I'm i out of breath I'm talking so fast. He sunk a boat. Something sunk a boat, at least. A ship was... We got NASA in there again. There's, there's jets flying around and mechs and boats sinking. Towards a destiny with two outcomes. I imagine that is the win-slash-lose condition, one of those... Is the outcomes okay enough enough of my silly banter let's hop in and check out some front mission three by the way what does that title mean front mission what is there a back mission that we're not getting to see oh we were even starting at the virus level okay this game just got deep on a whole other level we're into like dna now this is like the dna of robots robots have dna don't you know we got some russian speaking Russians are shady by nature, according to video games and uh, American action movies from the 80s. So they're talking about some kind of secret plan that can't be modified. What oh what could they mean? I'm suspecting some kind of apocalyptic robo-war. Russians are always planning apocalyptic robo-wars. It's like that's all they do with their time. I don't know. All right, come on. Let's get to some action. Interestingly, this game, so Front Mission 1 and 2 apparently focused more on the tactics and less on the RPG. And Front Mission 3, I had read, was criticized a little bit for, for becoming more of an RPG, and fans of the series liked the tactical part, but I guess, you know, they didn't want more RPG necessarily. This game gave them something they didn't necessarily ask for. Okay, we got our first mech. It looks like one of those mechs from the Alien series, the, like, uh, Power Load or whatever. Oh, and somebody shot this mech's best friend, which was a uh, little truck. And it is Angry Robo Warrior Mechs. And this mech's contemplating what he does. What's, what's his next move going to be? But little do they know, an aircraft mech is flying in and he's got some things to say. Nobody shoots my a truck in my town. He's going to really just do a flyby. Oh, no, he's dropping. He's dropping uh, 
little purple energy balls it killed everything um, I want to do this stuff to hell with this cutscene I want to be the one dropping purple energy balls killing random max put me in the driver's seat chief I'm ready I'm ready okay so now this airplane is taking the box <laughs> it's like the dying wish of a mech to shoot that airplane he's like ah for freedom and then he like fires one shot or a series of shots oh my god that poor little ro he all he wanted to do was be a good worker whoa what is this there was no pilot there never was the mechs are self-aware it's like Westworld they've gained sentience okay they're flying away with the box well, it was a harrowing tale of one box's journey in the world of Front Mission. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the main plot. We were just, it was sort of a side mission, just watching watching a typical transport of one box from one factory to another. That's how they it goes. Okay, we've got more backstory. Now we're, we're being shown Japanese news on the side of a truck. Like, oh, God, imagine trying to actually watch that news story. You have to fly beside it in a helicopter just to find out what's happening on the news. Like, could you slow down? You're going, you're going like 70. It's really hard to keep up with you here. I'm just, I just want to read what's happening, you know, in global affairs right now. Okay, we're going to, we're going to skip this. We've gotten enough of this backstory. It's time to get into the front story. I like what I did there, guys. The front story, the front mission, if you will. Um, a lot of low screens in this game. Okay. Ooh, the Kushimata Corporation of Japan. We are at the... E for entrance. Type R level three. Memory check. Am I a robot? What's happening? Or am I like a human hacking into some kind of computer thing? I like to hack. Hacking's cool. Uh, I really enjoyed Uplink, that hacking game we played a long time ago. All right, system check completed. Load the pilot data into the system. Uh, Roger, I'm loading the pilot data now. Okay. Ooh, we get to enter our first and last name. Uh, Kazuki. Kazuki will not do. Let's go ahead and... Oh, God! <laughs> Those were gunshots. Press the square by accident. Okay, we need to be, uh, J. Um, J, A, Y. Start. Let's go ahead and edit our last name. Takamiru. Wait, take... Takamiru, yeah. Takamura? Man, read that wrong. We're gonna be J... How about, uh, J, J Glory Stein. Glory Stein's a legit name, right? You guys have met a Glory Stein or two in your day. It's not some stupid name met, meant to, uh, heighten the, uh, self-esteem of a certain YouTube gamer as he dives into a game he may or may not be good at. My name is J Glory Stein. I come from a long line of Glory Steins. We did a lot in our time. It's not just a not just a name that we've acquired to kind of hide our ineptitude. We really are glorious. Final test for Shunyo will now commence. Okay, I'm ready, Chief. I can I can guard all the boxes you want. I have I have an advanced degree in boxology defense. Trust me, nobody's gonna be stealing our boxes. We're ready on our side, Jay. Activate the Wanzer. Oh, it just sounds lame, but it looks awesome. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's it, look. It has brass knuckles. It's right. It's right. Fist is holding brass knuckles. It's got a gun and brass knuckles. That's the type of mech I want to be fighting in, <laughs> because it's armed for distance combat. But it it knows what's up. It knows that like sooner or later comes blow to blow, and this mech wants to be armed to the teeth. It wants to have a bit of bit of bite in its punch. Okay, um, we are at turn one. We have fourteen action points. Move distance is colored in blue. Move the cursor to the desired location. Boy, well, never would have figured that one out, but sure. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Once movement is finished, select N from the command menu. <laughs> How about eject? <laughs> They're like, well, you walked five feet and ejected out of your mech. Your training mission was an utter failure. I've never seen someone fail as hard as that. Um, okay, so ooh, we can rotate the map. See, this is what I need in all games. I sometimes try to play games without actually, like, playing the tutorial levels or reading the manual. And it always comes back to bite me in the butt. So this game is forcing me through a tutorial. So that's okay. I dig it. They're, they're like, we know you, Jay. You, Jay Glorystein is known by reputation. And his reputation is that if we don't force him into a tutorial, he, uh, he doesn't do them. 
And then he gets really confused during games. Oh, we can shoot our gun. Tell you what. Uh, I guess it wouldn't let us attack nothing. Um, target location reached. We'll check the weapons now. Now that we get to look at the sweet weapons on our mech. The Wanzer's left arm is equipped with a shotgun. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can also fight hand-to-hand -hand with the knuckles on the right arm. Yeah, I can. Oh, this... This, look at this orange guy. He's like, thinks he's the cock of the walk. Look, he's just sauntering in here. You know what he's going to get, guys? He's going to get a brass knuckle to the face. Don't tell him that, but it's coming. Uh, use both weapons to attack the Wanzer. Autopilot is not set on combat mode, so you're safe. Yeah, this is, this is how we deal with punks in my neighborhood, buddy. It's called the old shotgun brass knuckle combo to the face. And trust me. You only need one of those combos for it to ruin your day. Um, you're pretty much dead after the shotgun brass knuckle combo to the face. In fact, the brass knuckles is just for show. The brass knuckles really doesn't do anything. Once the, the shotgun part of the combo hits you, you're pretty much done. So our weapon are the Chongsta or the Fear Fist. I like those names. Okay, yeah, we get it. Select the one you want by pressing up and down. Okay. Gonna come over here. We're doing this all at close range. Gonna attack you. Um, let's attack with the Chonga. Here we go. Boom! I feel all good about myself. I got two experience from that. I'm like, oh, I've learned how to fire the shotgun in the face of an enemy that doesn't fight back much better. A lot of experience gained there. All right, now let's switch to my Fear Fist. Here is good. We're going to attack this guy in his stupid face. Get out of my warehouse, buddy. Stay away from my boxes. Too experienced for that, too. My guy's learning all kinds of things. He's like, huh, swinging my fist into the face of my enemies hurts them? Okay, we're going back to the shotgun because I feel like it's more effective. I wish, one thing I wish you could do in this game is target body parts. I'm having flashbacks to like Fallout, like Fallout 1 and 2, which were tactical turn-based combat games, much like this. And, oh, we got we got a promotion for that. For killing a defenseless robot, they promoted us. Uh, but I'm having flashbacks to Fallout, because it's a very similar gameplay style to Fallout. Um, and the only difference is you can't do like called shots to like people's faces and stuff. I mean, we did blow up that guy's face right there. But I wanted, I wanted everyone to know I was trying to do that. I wanted to, like, aim for the face. Prit des, brody des. I don't know what any of that means. All right, he disappeared into a puff of smoke. The scientist's up there, like, good, good. Yes, more fists. That should do it. He's just getting off on the carnage below. The engineers, hold on a moment. What is it, engineer man? I want you to set it to combat mode and continue the test. Combat mode? I got orders to obtain data that resembles real combat. If you need real combat data, get it after delivery. The test pilot is one of ours. Yeah, I know. There's like this epic music in the background while they argue over this. I really hope this music is actually in the game world. Like, it's just what's on the radio as they're doing this little test. It's super motivating. If you were the test pilot in some futuristic, you know, military hardware, I hope they're playing you music this awesome. You gotta get that blood pumping somehow. Get the adrenaline rushing. You're piloting 20 tons of pure steel and bullets. Uh, a futuristic mech. You gotta get your gotta get amped up somehow, man. All right, here we go. Oh, he's back, sauntering in yet again. Thinks he's hot shit, but guess what? He ain't. Hot or cold, it's better not to be shit. If you know what I mean. All right, let's try this. Okay, he's expecting us to run towards him, but I got a little bit of a plan. Um, oh, it's it's just selecting items for me. Body reaches zero. It is destroyed. The arm reaches zero. Oh, okay, that's cool. So if you lose your arms and stuff, you'll lose weapons, just like in Battletech. That's cool. Hey, here's my plan, guys. It's called run away. <laughs> um, then we end our turn. <laughs> We're gonna make him come to us. Oh, he's gonna be a while too. Let's see if this works. I I don't know if it will work, but I hope it will. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, is he shooting at us? 
Um, no counter. Oh no, he got us! Uh, my plan to like run away did not really work that effectively. Alright, to hell with it. Let's just run up and punch him in his stupid face. Hey buddy, what's going on? How would you like a shock into the face? Kaboom! Oh, he punched back. Who who punches someone? Probably use his robo fists. Keep your robo fist to yourself, buddy. So is there any strategy I should be using here other than just... <laughs> Literally, my strategy is go and stand at point-blank range and just unload on each other. I'm certain this game will have more sophisticated combat than that. Uh, I wonder if I could get, like, get behind him or something. Probably not. Let's just keep attacking him. He's almost dead. Boom. And he's done. He's nothing but a series of sparking components on the floor of this warehouse. I do my victory pose, my officially sanctioned victory pose. Look at all these medals I'm earning. They're like, I hope you're having fun. There's a whole bunch of medals waiting up here for you whenever you're done. So they reward me. It's like cookies. I do it for the medals, not the glory or the honor. The glory steins have enough glory to go around. I do it for the rank of platinum. 100%. Oh, yeah, this is a game where you actually get graded as you pass levels. It's going to give me flashbacks of uh, Devil May Cry, I'm sure. Um, good job, Jay. The test is over. You're done. Copy that. I like to imagine my guy is, like, full of, like, energy. He's, like, really young and enthusiastic. He's the kind of pilot you want test piloting all your mechas, your wanzers. You know what? I'm not calling them that. They're freaking mechas. Get over it. Um, yes. Finish saving. That's what I like to see. It's funny how the farther back in time you go, the faster games save. Like when we were when we were saving in Devil uh, Devil May Cry, man, it took forever for the game to save. I literally edited all those things out, but it would take like two minutes, literally. This saved in like a second. Probably there's not much to save at this point. It's like, what do you have to save? Past opening mission. It's like a one byte save file. That's okay though. Um, yes, it's our finest yet. Now they're having this conversation about me. I wonder if I'm in the room. Oh, no, I wasn't. So as the omniscient player, we got a little got a little inside uh, information there into how uh, scientist and JDF engineer feel about Jay. Maybe they're going to start a war. Who's that? Ryogo. That would never happen. Japan would never start a war. Blah, blah, blah. They're getting into, getting into what I like to call adult conversations, which is a big geopolitical discussion about stuff, things, Wanzers, Ocean City. Ocean City is not a real place. I hope everyone knows that. Hope you know your geography, guys. <laughs> now, this place, this game takes place in 2112. Wait, do I, do I have to talk to anyone? How about, how about just proceed? <laughs> Oh, I like to say, save after a good conversation. It's like, oh, that conversation was so good. Let's save our progress so we don't lose it. Okay, let's talk to this guy instead. This, this game takes place in 2112, which, of course, a lot of games of this era like to set games in, like, 20XX or 21XX, you know, which was always weird to me. It's like, uh, oh, oh, shoot, we were, we were supposed to be paying attention here. Uh, let's go with him. Let's be a pal. I don't know where he's going, but I'm sure he needs backup. But the whole XX thing, it's like, I don't know why. I don't know where that started or why people ever did it. But it's like, what, you you can't commit to a year? What are you afraid of? Like, oh, man, if we say this game takes place in 2110 and 2110 comes around and it's not like this game, people are going to flip out. It's like nobody cares. Nobody cares. I don't know. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Okay, yeah, we're going to a residential area. I think we're going back to this guy's house to drink with him. We had a long day at the robot factory. Gotta go back and drink. Get involved in the RPG components of this game. Oh man, there's there's a lot of discussion here. You know what, dude? I, I just want to get into a mech and kill things. If you could help me, if you could point me towards the guerrilla army that is in look of good random pilots, I would be set. Ryo. Oh god, more of this. What's network? Is this like build network connections? Have a coffee meeting. Introduce yourself. Make some new contacts. Get a promotion. You're networking. Oh, I heard about this. So here's one interesting aspect of this game. <laughs> we haven't seen much mech fighting. It's like 20 minutes. 
an interesting aspect of this game is it has like a pseudo email thing, uh, like a little email. I don't even know what you call it, like series of uh, mailboxes or whatever. No messages. One message. Uh, welcome to the mail service. Blah blah blah. It has this like this game has its own version of like America Online. Um, so you can exit. You can also go to like fake websites and like hack your way into them to get more backstory. I believe, right? It's a way to do this. Yeah, open web browser under forum, which is not the right name for things, but okay. Get menu, select address list, link address. No. Okay. Go to government. Let's go to government website. That's where we want to be. That'll show us things. <laughs> oh man, this guy leads such a boring life. He pilots, he like pilots mechs and he doesn't do anything fun with them. Then he goes out to random places with random people he meets. And then for fun, he surfs government websites, the Japanese ministry of foreign affairs. That sounds like the most boring website ever to go to. I'm sure there's very interesting backstory here. All we need to know is war be starting. That's that's what literally there should be an option that says I don't care about the RPG stuff. Just I understand war be starting. That's the whole title of the menu. And that is that is what you you press if you just want to start, um, you know. Oh, God, stop going into that. If you just want to kill things. No, stop. That's like the fourth time I've clicked that by accident. Okay, here we go. Stop. No, okay. Oh, why are these all in Japanese? Oh, interesting. Okay, let's literally exit this. I don't want to be on the Japanese government ministry of foreign affairs anymore. It was a mistake to come to the internet. It's cool, actually. Like, look, it, it's like Johnny Mnemonic style, like 3D stuff. That is neat. I will, I'll, I will grant you that. It is kind of cool. But that said, we are here to freaking kill things, man. Put me, put me in a giant death robot and give me a joystick with a trigger button. I want to kill some stuff. Um, okay. I guess we got to talk to these dudes. Um, go home if you're done. Let's talk to Rayogo. Um, we're like having a deep conversation about our inner thoughts. Oops. Talk to Rayogo again. Nope. And we can, now we move to the JDF facility. Okay, stuff's got to go down at some point. At some point in this game, they're going to fight, right? I do I do like the menus, by the way. Like these like futuristic 3D computerized menus. These things are pretty cool. As far as like atmosphere goes, this game rocks it. Ro I, I misspoke right there. This game rocks it. It looks cool. Kind of has like cool background music. You know, I, you know what? If I had tons more time and I was really going to sit down and get into an RPG, I would actually be kind of reading this. I'm sure the story is interesting. I mean, this is rated as a, a very good game. So if you if, if eventually when you see the gameplay, the gameplay piques your interest, I probably will end up recommending going back and checking this out. Um, but just, you know, for our purposes, this dialogue is getting excessive. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Finally, Wanzer testing site. This has got to be, if this is not where the robots are, I'm just cutting out the rest until we get to the robots. Because we're like 24 minutes in and we've barely seen a robot. What? No, I don't want more training. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is it. I selected go to helipad and now we're like going to a whole different country. And for the love of God, war's got to be waiting for us somewhere. What are we playing this game in an era of peace? Who wants that? Who wants peace in a video game? Peace is for the real world. In video games, we want war-torn, semi-apocalyptic, destructive, horrible living conditions. Because that is what makes that is what makes for fun when you're when you're a video gamer. You just want nothing but violence. Unstable governments, war, corporate greed, and uh, amazing war technologies. That's what you want. Uh, boy, these graphics are horrible. I know why the game was criticized for its graphics. I, you, I mean, you give it a bit of a pass because the era came out, but even for its era, this is like quite bad, actually. And I'm noticing it. I thought I wouldn't notice it. But uh, look how tiny these guys are in comparison to that helicopter. That thing is huge. I think it's a scaling issue. I don't think they're supposed to be that small. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. Finally had to skip a bunch of dialogue there. We got robots walking out of their helicopters, doing their little saunter. 
He's like, I'm bad, I know it. Y'all wanna be me. Oh, here we go. Finally, action. Let's do it. I'm ready, I'm so ready, Chief, put me in. So let me hop into that robot and show them a thing or two. An accidental explosion on the base. All available personnel report in. There's a high risk of a second explosion. And all non-essential personnel evacuate. What happened? Looks like an accident. It, it certainly was not. This is certainly the beginning of something more important. AKA unbridled mech on mech combat. Okay, what is happening? What are what are those things? They don't explain anything in this game. Is, what are they, hovercrafts? Uh, the defense system is activating. What's going on? We've got civilians here. Shut it down. It's no use. It's not accepting any commands. Tell the helicopters take off. You might want to get in that helicopter, scientist man, before it leaves with with you or without you. Because then you're you're trapped. We're in our mechs, like not not being uh, not worried at all. Just kind of chilling there, making absolutely no attempt to get on the helicopter. Someone shooting at the helicopter? Okay, I guess they were. I didn't see any bullets, but I'll just take their word for it. Dude, be careful! That cannon got screwed up in the explosion! Okay, dude. Noted. We've got to stop it. No way, man. You want us to fight that thing? It's better than just waiting for it to kill us. Move it! Jeez, yes sir, Mr. Soldier Boy. Is Rayogo a girl? I think she is, but... Kinda also looks like a just a dude. All right, here we go. We're gonna use our oh, we have like jump jets apparently. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing a shock into the face. Boom! Oh man, we almost killed it. Oh, but it this this is uh, one pony that knows how to fight back, if you know what I mean. All right. Well, noted. <coughs> noted that you know how to fight back. I guess we'll use our shotgun on this. We do have a shotgun, right? Oh, no, we have, like, a machine gun. Okay, so I, I gotta get up close. My buddy here, Ryogo, gonna hang back, play the old support game. Uh, I have no counter, so I don't know what's gonna happen now. Probably not good things. Oh! Getting bullets to the face. Oh, no! Oh, they're all shooting at us! Okay, so. Um, whoops. We want to go like th we want to go like this. We want to get away from all the other guns. Then we want to give it one of these. Boom! Oh, one shot at it. Yeah, we did. It was all that training we did in the warehouse, beating up those defenseless robots. Turns out, defeating de 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 relatively defenseless robots in the field is really no different. Wait. We go like this. And can we attack? No, we're too far. Well, let's just end our turn. Let's see if we get shot at. Are we close enough? Nope. All right. Good to know. So we'll do this. Now, this game is reminding me of Ogre. Ogre Tactics or whatever that game was. You guys remember that one? It was a tactical game I played a long time ago. Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty fun game. <coughs> but the issue I found with that game is that the tactical battles were so big. They were, there were so many guys on your team and the tactics were so complicated they could take a long time to, to work your way through a battle. So this one feels like the battles are gonna be a little more contained, right? It was four enemy units against two of ours. That's much more reasonable. These are battles I can get into. These are battles that uh, Jay Glory Stein was prepared for. Oh, look at that, just in range. The range of death, boom! Oh man, the shotgun is so much more effective than the uh, machine gun. Yeah, the machine gun, maybe you can like hide it at a distance, but it doesn't make any sense because you can shoot at the, the, the like turrets from as far away as the shotgun. And as soon as you're in range to shoot them with the machine gun, they can shoot back. So I might as well get in range with the shotgun and kill them in one shot than, uh, you know, hang out with a machine gun at a distance and just take damage. Like, look, I'll go over here and start opening fire. If I only had Ryogo attack this thing, it would take like three or four rounds to actually kill it. Maybe just like two. Still, Jay, Jay would have one-shotted that, because Jay is awesome. 
Like, don't counter. Oh, God. Ryogo! Don't you die on me, Ryogo! Don't you give up, son! We're gonna get out of this, you and me! Oh, wait. No. Why would you ever not use full action points? That I do not understand. Oh, I guess your attacks use action points. We just haven't reached a point where, like, I'm running out of action points. Yeah, Jay's like... I Jay could have soloed this. Ryogo really just distracted the enemy. Didn't really do all that much. This could have been all Jay. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. 91%, wait. I lost 6% for doing 10 attacks. And I lost 3% for taking damage. <coughs> Maybe I was supposed to have Jay solo this. Oh, well, 91% great. It's still, uh... Still A-OK -okay in my book. Not only did I defend us, but I got an A! We're good! Drop your weapons! Who are these dicks? Looks like our, our robots have, like, weird turtle tails. Like a shell on our butt. Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. <coughs> They're not gonna listen. What the? Uh, they're civilian test pilots. We asked them to stop the cannons. We'll take care of the rest. Uh, have the civilians take shelter. What happened? Uh, an explosion in the base. Something's got to be up. You civilians don't need to concern yourselves any further. They keep calling us civilians. I'm in like a military grade mech, man. Show me a bit of respect. We almost died. You stick around any longer and you're really gonna die. Boy, this is like really bad dialogue. It's like porno level dialogue in an action game. Which is to be expected. Uh, we'll comply. We'll leave at once. Uh, calm down, Jay. The company won't take. Uh, we'll take care of the rest. No, I don't get it. They didn't even thank us. What am I holding out for a thank you? Forget it, man. They mean business. I'm not leaving till I get my thank you. Jay Golden, Jay Gloriestein doesn't just help people. He gets thank yous for his help. All right, so we killed some malfunctioning turrets, and we got an A for effort. Now. What does it want us to do? Well, let's start by saving our game. Because let me tell you, uh, we're never going to get an A in anything again. If Devil May Cry is uh, any indication of my skill level at video games, these are hard to come by. Okay, what do we got going on here? In the interwebs. Welcome to Tenbois. I do love the Japanese styling of everything. Technology just seems cooler when it's Japanese. Okay, it wanted us to come in here. I swear it better sort of make it clear what it wants us to do. Select a country. Japan's the only option I got. Now what? Okay. I, I don't want to go to websites unless I... You know, we saw them. They're, they're very interesting. It's very nice you've got websites. Very cool. Can we, can we just go to the next mission? That's... You know what? That's the thing that would make me the most happiest in this world. Like... What, do we just have to explore the internet? I'm just bumming around on the internet. We're at some school website looking at, uh, I don't know, recruitment information. There was a picture of students there. Where am I supposed to go here? How about corporation? I cannot tell if this looks promising. Like, what, what am I supposed to get out of this stuff? Damn it, I wish I was paying attention before. Oh my god, I could have just exited this whole time. I was visiting, like, every website possible to figure out where to go next. Oh my god, I was just in the office surfing around on my computer. The boss was furious. Yeah, about me not doing work. Look at those, like, 90s little uh, cubicles, too. Like, the big box monitors and the, like, huge white desktop computers. It's funny, we're in the future with these, like, advanced mechs. And we have, like, these, the, the crappiest, most plain computers from the 90s. Eh, that's kind of awesome, actually. So they're mad at us because of robot stuff, and now we're being all sulky. Oh, I, I, I love that, actually. The scene of the, like, 90s computer. Wait, why are they putting us back on the computer? I just got out of this. Some message for me about something, I don't know. Can we play solitaire on this baby? Or how about uh, Logical Journey of the Zumbinis? That looked like Windows on the computer. <clears throat> Talking about some kind of sister or something... Uh, we're like hurrying off to find people shut up and follow me Okay, let's go to the hangar We gotta we gotta move we gotta move baby. We got action 
Thing, things are happening. Okay, whoops. Ugh, stop doing that. Talk to Ryogo. Ryogo! Wait. Okay, that's not how we get out of here. I wish there were, I wish it was clearer how to get on to the next part of the mission. I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure if I actually paid attention to the dialogue, it'd be a little clearer, but... Uh, you know, as a game that you just want to, like, pick up and play and try various missions, it's not very clear how to go from mission to mission. But I guess we go to the simulator? Is that what it wants us to do? I don't know. Basically, we need, like, a little tooltip that's, like, click here to fight more robots. Yeah, this looks like what we want to do. No, we, we don't want to train, though, damn it. Uh, I thought, I, I thought we had found our way to the next level. But I guess not. This is a tricky mistress. This is a tricky, fickle mistress, this front mission three. Oh, God. Tutorial time. Okay, we want to go to Yokisuka base. So here we go. So far, like, the game is much slower paced than I would have thought. Oh, look at these, like, horrible polygon graphics. I mean, there is something charming to them. It's just that, like... It, you know, again, I can tell they're bad for their era. Like, this should have been a game released five years before it was, at which point the graphics would have been fine. But it was released in 99 slash 2000, and these gra graphics would have been a little dated by then. So I'm arguing with someone about trying to get to my sister. You know what would have helped my argument? Piloting a giant freaking mech to this little engagement. Should have done that. I'm not a forward thinker. Jay Glory Stein. He, uh, he's very impulsive. He kind of... I was going to say thinks on his feet, but that's not true. He doesn't even think. He just likes to run into action. All young and cocksure. He's now going to go downtown and meet chicks at a, a pool bar. Because that's what he does. Tells him about his sweet Wanzer. How awesome it is. How big it is. Oh, it is a, it is a pool bar. You go crazy when it comes to Alyssa. Yeah, Ryogo. Ryogo. Sometimes I think you're my only friend in this crazy mixed up world. Alyssa was adopted from another country. She lost her parents in an accident. She used to cry all the time. That's in the past. She's a happy girl now. Somebody who loses their parents in an accident and literally cries all the time, you think they're like completely fine on the inside? What do you know about Alyssa? I need to protect her. Man, I'm so quick to anger. All right, all right. I think my guy has emotional stability problems. If you go from like wistfully reminiscing about your sister to like straight up yelling screaming uh let's talk to the drunk see what he has to say he does not look like this is the most educated well put together drunk i've ever seen in my life are you kidding me is this what drunks look like in japan god no wonder they're so efficient things do you know about the accident in yokosuka undercover agent from another country did it why they want a piece of the cake this is also the most well-spoken drunk I've ever encountered in my life. I suspect he is not drunk. He had like one beer, but they're all judgy in Japan. They're like, oh, he's he's a drunk. He, he had he had a sip of wine, that alcoholic. We call him the local drunk. He, he wasted his life. Patriot. How do we know he's a patriot? Maybe the drunk's patriotic. We don't know. An accident at the base? What the heck are you talking about? You guys know about the JDF website? It's great for JDF enthusiasts like me. Trust me, man, I've been to the website. It's boring as shit. I don't know what you do there, but it is boring as shit. Oh, wait, did he tell me the web website address? I'm assuming I got to use that. <laughs> okay. If a drunk looks like a well-put-together nerd in Japan, what do you think a tramp looks like? An accident at the base? There was an accident? She looks like the most elegant lady I have seen uh, fantasy or real in a long time. Look at her. That does not look like a tramp. Hey, if you buy me dinner tonight, I'll be your date. That is a deal, my friend. How do we... Where's the option for that? <laughs> I like how in this game it's posed as like a rhetorical question. They're like, no, no nobody would actually want to go out on a date with a, uh, an attractive prostitute. It's like, do you know your audience, sir? Back to the bartender. Maybe he'll give me a sweet website. Nobody knows what caused the accident. It's like everyone knows about this accident. All right, Ryogo, lay it on me, bud. Lots of JDF soldiers drink here. A prime place for info. Well, you're useless. Check our network. Let's go to that awesome enthusiast website this guy told us about. In Tenmois. 
Again, I feel like I should be Johnny Mnemonic at this point. Select forum, which <laughs> is really open web browser. Select forum is not computer lingo for open a web browser. It just isn't. Corporation, do you think? What do we think here? Oops. Oh, God. The rotating menu thing is kind of confusing. JBNN? No. That's not what we want either. Government. Here we go. JD Forest. That sounds about right. Topics, organization, deployment. Deployment. Did they just tell us about how the troops are deployed? Select a district and base. I don't know. Tell us about Eastern Japan, I guess. Um... Oh, God. No, I don't want to, like, fall... It's like I'm Wikipedia spidering through this website. Um, also, their, like, website is a guy staring through a sniper rifle, screaming as he fires. Look at that. Yeah, Japanese Defense Force, indeed. More like psychos for hire. Guns and tanks. Okay. I Please let this satisfy the requirements. Have I done enough? Are you going to allow me to see another mech? I don't even want to fight in one. At this point, I just want to see one. I just want to know that they still exist in this world. All right, we're blowing this pop stand. I hope the drunk and the tramp get together. He deserves it. Can we talk? Oh, hope me and her get together. I deserve it. J. Question mark. Who are you? I'm gonna talk like Keanu Reeves for the rest of the episode. J. Don't be rude to such a beautiful lady. When I'm doing Jay's voice, that is. Uh, hey, girly, how about a date? Jeez, be more condescending, Ryogo. I guess Ryogo's a dude. Look like a chick, though, man. You're investigating the accident. I'd rather investigate you, Ryogo. You are the slimiest friend I've ever had. Ryogo, shut up. Do you know something? Maybe. We can make a deal. What is it? I need your help. Oh, God. Drag this conversation out further, please. I, you know what? In fact, I would like it to never get to the point. If you could do that, that would be very pleasurable for me. I just like to see head bubbles uh, get in like little titty bitty arguments with each other. Uh, what do you want us to do? Something about a Wanzer sneaking in, fighting stuff. If this involves me fighting in a Wanzer, the answer is yes. Whatever, whatever you want. I'll betray my country. I'll slaughter the innocent. If it in, if it ends in me in the pilot seat of a Wanzer, Jay Glorystein is in. I'm Jay Glorystein. This is Ryogo Kusama. Jay and Ryogo, you can call me Emma. You can call me whatever you want, as long as you're talking about me getting into a Wanzer. And I have a feeling she is. She's the kind of girl who likes to see a man mecked up, ready to battle. Kill some freaking drones. All right, what do we got going on here? I swear. Okay, if this is a mech fight, this will be our last mech fight because this video is going on so long. I was hoping to get more mech battles in, but in the interest of... I don't know. Should I make this a two-parter? Hell, I'm going to make this a two-parter. We're going to keep going for a little while longer. In fact, on that note... You know, we've only seen two mech battles so far, but tune in in a couple days and we will pick this up again. We will start part two and we will go through at least a couple more mech battles. So this has been our intro to Front Mission 3. Guys, if you have been enjoying this video, go ahead, give it a like and or subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a couple days with the exciting conclusion to Jay Glorystein's glorious mission in Front Mission 3. Until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves and peace. He's back, sauntering in yet again. Thinks he's hot shit. But guess what? Hot or cold, it's better not to be shit. <laughs>